Hi everyone, it's Aunt Fernita. Today's story is called "More Time on the Clock." The memory verse is from Isaiah chapter thirty-eight, verse seven. It says, "The Lord will do what He has promised." Today's message is God keeps His promises. Kari was sick, so sick she didn't think she could ever get well. Day after day, she felt awful, and day after day, she prayed that God would make her well. God heard her prayers, and she got better. Kari learned that God answers prayer. King Hezekiah learned that too. King Hezekiah was helpless. He didn't like the feeling. He was used to being in charge of his life, but now he was very sick. In his bedroom, King Hezekiah tossed and turned feverishly. His head ached, and his body probably felt sore all over. He thought about his life. He had been a good king. He had obeyed God and been faithful. He had done what the prophets had told him to do. What would happen to him now? God knew that the king was a good man. He knew that the king had some questions, so he sent the prophet Isaiah to talk to him. Isaiah had news that the king did not want to hear. He told the king as gently as he could, "This is what the Lord says: Put your house in order, because you are going to die. You will not recover." And then Isaiah left. Being a messenger of God wasn't always pleasant. King Hezekiah turned his face away from his servants and faced his bedroom wall. He began to cry with loud sobs. Everyone nearby could hear him. Clearly, his heart was broken, and he was afraid. The servants too were frightened. They wanted to help, but they didn't know how. In his most Helpless moment, the king turned to God and reviewed his life. Remember how I have followed you faithfully and with wholehearted devotion, Hezekiah said. I have done what is good in your eyes. He started crying again. God took pity on Hezekiah. He sent Isaiah back to the king with a new message. Isaiah said, "This is what the Lord says." I have heard your prayer and seen your tears. I will add fifteen years to your life. This is the Lord's sign to you that He will do what He has promised. He will make the shadow cast by the sun go back the ten steps it has gone down on the stairway at Ahaz. The shadow would move backward. Then Isaiah told the servants how to care for Hezekiah. And they did as Isaiah said. Hezekiah lived another fifteen years and continued to serve God. Hezekiah wrote about this miracle. You can read his words in Isaiah chapter thirty-eight. He praised God for being healed and promised to tell his story to his children. He promised to praise God for his faithfulness. He said with confidence. The Lord will save me, and we will sing with stringed instruments all the days of our lives in the temple of the Lord. Not everyone experiences a miracle as King Hezekiah did. People still die from being sick, but there is hope. God has promised to send Jesus to take us to heaven. When He comes, those who have been faithful will be resurrected. In heaven, we will live forever with Jesus, and no one will get sick or die. We can believe that promise because God keeps all His promises, just as He did for Hezekiah. This podcast is read by Franita Buddy for GraceLink.net, created and produced by Falvo Fowler. 
Post produced by Faith Toe at Studio El Piso. The theme music is by Clayton Kinney. Animation and artwork by Giogo Godoy. The audio engineer was Karel Holness. For more information, please visit gracelink.net. Thank you.